Good morning, students. Today, I'll find the ratio of the areas of enlargement. Finding the ratios of the areas of enlargement. That means uh, find the areas, ratios of the areas of object and image. Okay. So, area of the object is to area of the image. Okay. We are going to find out its uh, ratio okay how can I do that there are three different rules we're gonna use here one is uh, if you remember the um, congruent and similarities then uh, length of object square is to length of image square okay corresponding length square okay that's area or we can do one is to determinant this is determinant. If you are familiar with the matrix, then you know what I'm talking about. Or simply, 1 is to k square. Now, this k is the scale factor. Uh, from my previous videos, I'm going to use some of these diagrams. Now, object over here is a, b, and c. Okay. And then a prime, b prime, c prime. And I know that the scale factor was... Uh, uh, this is the image one two three four five six so that's scale factor in this case case one scale factor six divided by one two three so three is two so if we are using this formula so this area of the object area of the triangle abc abc is two area of the triangle a prime b prime c prime would be 1 is to 2 square equal to 1 is to 4 okay so this uh, image area would be four times of that one if you are holding it like this okay uh, i hope you know the formula of the area of the triangle area of the triangle we're gonna use the very basic one half base into height because this is pretty neat um, the base is going to be one two three that's three and height is going to be two so two to cross out is three for this area of this triangle half now base is six and then height is one two three four that's four so cross it out so six uh, times two is twelve so whenever you are putting these values over here, 3 is to 12. Now if we put in the form of 1 is to n, so divided by 3, divided by 3, 1 is to 4. That's that. Okay. Uh, I want to show you one more um, with the center because then we can use the determinant. Okay. Now this center and this uh, object was PQR and the image was... Uh, p prime q prime r prime so probably you remember the scale factor again we can check it uh, the image one two three four five six and this is one two three the scale factor was minus two scale factor okay so what happened since it's going through the origin then the transformational matrix would be minus two zero zero minus two and those students who knows the matrix, you know the determinant. Okay, determinant is uh, this times that, minus 2 times minus 2, then minus 0 times 0. So it's going to be 4, minus 0 equal to 4. So if you are using this formula, then area of the object is to area of the image equal to 1 is to 4. 1 is to determinant. You can put determinant and 1 is to 4. So it doesn't matter how you use that. Uh, scale factor square or 1 is to the uh, determinant. You always can get that. And area of the object and image. If you are using the similar triangles formula. Okay. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So image is 6 square. And then object 1, 2, 3. So 3 square, so this is length of object, object divided by length of image and their square. Then we have here 6 times 6, 
3 times 3 okay 3 3 cross out 2 3 3 cross out 2 so that's gonna be 4 okay so if you, if you are thinking about object uh, I think I made a mistake here this is going to be image uh, other way around this is going to be image okay since I put this one let's put this 3 okay let me do this again sorry okay uh, length of object square over length of image square okay let's look at the object here uh, one two three so that's three square and over here one two three four five six six square so it's gonna be three times three six times six three cross out this cross out that so one by four or I can write down fra this fraction one is to four sorry about that so it doesn't matter how you go if you are using the uh, similar triangles you can use this way if you are using the matrix determinant you can use this or if you know the scale factor you can just square it and put this this is how you find out areas of object and image and their ratios okay and then you can go from there if if, if the if the area is given you know the ratio you can find out always the other area okay that's how you do that uh, thank you for watching this video I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Have a good day.